Hello and welcome to another episode of Code Time. My name is Pete Medina and today we're going to build a simple page that we can lay out our type on and start applying those CSS classes to. So I have Sublime Text open, it's my code editor of choice, and I'm going to build a very simple index.html page which I'll start applying some bootstrap classes to in a minute. So to get started, I'm going to use the Emmet plugin and I'm going to press exclamation point tab. And you'll see that when I do that, it builds out everything I need to get started. Now, if you're not familiar with that, then definitely check out the Getting Started with Sublime Text series here on Code Time. And just like usual, I'm going to tab out everything that's nested within these HTML tags. And for the title, I'm going to call this Bootstrap for Typography. All right, now this will give me everything I need to demonstrate a very simple page. However, it's not loading Bootstrap yet. So we have to go and get a copy of that through their CDN as well as some of their scripts. And we'll apply that both to the head tags and then right here below the closing body. So let's head on over to getbootstrap.com and click the get started button right here. Now that'll take you to this page here. It's an introduction in the documentation. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see that they have a CSS link and that's linking to their content delivery network or CDN for short. This will basically load the CSS file externally so we don't need to worry about downloading it. So once you're on this page, go ahead and click that copy button and paste it on the head of your document. So right here where these uh, two head tags are, just go ahead and paste that in there. All right, next up we want to load some of the JavaScript that we need for some of the other bootstrap features. So I'll scroll down here and copy it uh, just like I did with the CSS. And this time there's three of them. So I'll click copy here. And I'm going to paste these right above the closing body tag. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want these to load last. This way they don't slow down the page when it initially loads. All right, and I'll tab everything out here just like that. Finally, there is the starter template here. And although I'm not going to copy all of this, I do want this required meta tag right here that says viewport. That'll help make sure that my site scales on mobile. So go ahead and copy that line right there. It's a meta name viewport, and then it has this uh, set of rules here for how it should scale. So go ahead and copy that, and you're going to put it in the head of your document. I'll put it right here underneath this meta tag. This way I have meta meta, and then I'm going to move this title up to the very top. The order of everything in here, it really doesn't matter, so it comes down to preference, and I usually prefer to have my titles at the top. All right, so now we have everything we need to start using Bootstrap and to ensure that it is mobile friendly. So let's go ahead and write a title in here, uh, which I'll do inside of a container class. So I'm going to do div class equals container. And this is part of the standard Bootstrap layout. So if you're not familiar with that, check out the Getting Started with Bootstrap series here on Code Time. But the gist of it is a container helps wrap everything up, centers it on the page. So I'll do a div class container, and then I'm going to put an H1, and I'm going to give it a title, and that will be bootstrap for typography. Just like that, and then I will close that div and save it. All right, so once that's done, I'm going to head on over to my browser and navigate to this page I just created. And there we go. So this is that sample page that I just created. You should have something very similar on your end. Now, I don't really like that it's brushing right up against the top of the page, so I'm going to add a padding class to that container as the last step on this episode. And that'll give it a little bit more breathing room. So right here where it says div class equals container, go ahead and write py for padding along the y-axis, and then do dash five, which is level five padding. It's, uh, it's not a specific number, but what it's saying is take whatever the bootstrap padding is and multiply it by five or, or set it to level five. And that gives it the most space possible uh, as a default setting. You can of course customize it later. All right, so there we go, container py5. And if we refresh this page, now we have some space right there. So go ahead and make sure that your page looks exactly like mine does here. If you have to pause it, go ahead and do that. And that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.